Welcome back to Character Select. We're going to talk to... The Dark Lord Sauron. An illusionary image appears before you. You hear an evil voice. Ha 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 I am the Prime Invader Zoda. Zoda? Come on, try and beat me. Zoda? You'll be defeated like the Argonians. <laughs> we'll destroy you. Come on, <laughs> mate. Come on. Your head what? is aching. You jam bananas <laughs> in your ears. You shall get out of my mind, alien scum. <laughs> What? <laughs> there's so much wrong with that. Okay, so this dungeon starts off with a boss battle, which is bullshit, because you don't get the opportunity to get hearts. It's Zoda. And any hit kills you instantly. This is Hi, Zoda. This is actually legitimately difficult. Hi, Zoda. Ah, I can't remember Hi, his... Zoda. I don't remember his pattern, so you're gonna have to give me a second here to get used you to know, this. Uh, yeah, you can't jump. Also, his hand is really big, so it wouldn't really matter. It is. Okay, that's how you do it. You run away from the hand. Yes. Shh, it's not that simple, necessarily. <laughs> oh god, he's shooting eyeballs at me. I Why are you aliens now? so oh, fucked up? What the fuck? Look at him, he's like he's high or something. And the problem is, if I get touched even once, I'm dead. It's High so on, like, crystal meth. Ridiculous. This is the last dungeon, by the way. Yeah, I figured. We have to get the last magic cube. The last magic cube. Why are they not in your inventory? Oh, because I'm- it's not- it's my overworld inventory, not my fight inventory. Oh, I thought you couldn't get items anymore, then. But I do cool. have full hearts. Seriously, the best you could do, Zoda? Jesus. Also- Oh, come on! <laughs> it never went shit. that far before! <laughs> Talk shit, get hit! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> so bullshit. You are such a screw lord. You're a screw lord. <laughs> Sometimes it goes farther than it otherwise does. It's so ridiculous. Are you Peter Quill, screw lord? <laughs> it's because it starts further over. Oh, right, and once he starts shooting the eyes, you can't hurt him anymore, so you, your window for injuring him is ridiculously small, too. Because why not? I think you can take a hit from the eyeballs and survive, but it's... I'm not about to test that theory. I'm not either, because I'm not playing. Yes, that Go, is ho, a thing ho, that ho. happened. <laughs> Run, Mike, run! You're not good at running, just pitching. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I got him, sweet. Okay. Yay. That's not the end. Bye, Zoda. Oh, he, uh, he turns into a guy there. I didn't let him do it. Vitamin X that gives me full health. Aww, sweet, yeah. delicious full health. If they wanted to kill you, they wouldn't have left that there. Mm -hmm. I don't think they expect me to get past Zoda. Well, is there Come a up trope the ladder, about you that? fucker! Thank you. Christ. I forget, is there a trope about that? What? Well, how, like... Suspicious like video it, game generosity? Well, yeah, like in, a Like, Mega Man. Like, all the stages have, like, E-cans and fucking, you know, health pickups and shit. Or, like, you know, energy tank refills right before the boss or whatever. Well, I think they're there because, um... They were there before. But why? Because the the bosses aren't necessarily taking over or building fortresses. They're taking over repurposed areas. Yeah, but what about in Wily's Castle? Well, I have no explanation for Wily's Castle. Hey, look, it's a bullshit boss. Great. It looks like something from uh, the first Superman movie. So I have to hit this thing, and it repairs itself. And I also have to... I can only hit it when those things are closed, which they obviously aren't. And then I have to go all the way back. 
to here. Great. So this is this is difficult because it's um, unforgiving. Tedious. Difficult because it's unforgiving, I suppose. Just like that really good Clint Eastwood movie. Unforgiven. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Very good. There's a lot of Clint Eastwood movies I haven't seen, actually. Not all of them are winners, but a lot of them are pretty good. I have seen Gran Torino, though, and that movie is fantastic. Yes, it is. It's one of his better ones. Ah, oh, I walked right into it! <laughs> Fucking seriously?! I thought I was gonna stop! I didn't realize I was that <laughs> close to moving on. Oh my god! Shoot me now. Uh, and that's not to... even the end. I'm gonna have to slam back this cool maker's mark right here. A uh, nondescript whiskey substitute. That is, for the record, the uh, submarine's quote unquote power core. What, whiskey? No. The thing that I'm trying to kill. The, it's spaceship. What did I say? I didn't say submarine. Don't put words in my mouth. Yeah, wonderful. Even better. Even better! Now I get to shoot it with a blaster. Which way are you going? Okay. Ah! And it repairs itself every time I fucking... Every time it closes. Not all the way, but it repairs itself. Ah, so close. Come on, come on, come on, close. Oh, you kidding me? I ran out of fucking blaster? Oh, I'm screwed. And Tyler just died, so hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Tyler's computer hard-locked. <laughs> Gotta love Windows 10, man. So, we... That, nothing's happened. I've been on this pause screen the whole time, so... I didn't even realize you were gone for, like, two minutes. Well, <laughs> it looks like nothing happened in those two minutes I was gone, so... No, nope, nothing <laughs> even remotely, so here we go. And hopefully it doesn't lock up again. I've got a blaster now, so hopefully I can kill the power core. Is it a master blaster? No. Did you ever play I've that never, game? I've played it, but I never actually played it, like, a lot. I think I got to level two. Mm. I've never actually played that game. I just know of it. It's one of those games that's kind of weird. Like, you could see why people love it, and it legitimately is fun to play. Mm -hmm. But you're like, how do you ever complete this? I don't know. It's Nintendo hard. Well, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that is a trope, but... You Shame know that I mean. there's no such thing as Nintendo hard anymore. Because all their games are, like, really easy. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Now Team Viewer has crashed. Hooray! Wait. We're just having all sorts of fun today. Yay! Not just playing games. We're talking about tech troubles. He almost dodged all of that. Almost. I almost looked cool for a second. Like some sort of wizard. Now don't well, drop wizard, down Harry. the fucking middle thing again. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, open. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Okay! Woo! Whoo, Doctor. Why does that remind me of, like, a Contra boss? Have you ever played Contra all the way through? Uh, yes, actually, I have. Fun game, that. Very easy, too. So this is a stupid section where we have to... Yeah. This is a stupid section where we have to actually get a whole bunch of hearts because there's no other option to get hearts. By killing all these guys. Oh, so it's like the end of Mega Man X. Yeah. So, um, we're just gonna fast forward through this shit, because this takes 
for fucking ever. Did they even explain what these things are? Not yet. Alright, and we got full hearts. That didn't take long at all. Hooray! So we're gonna go up. And up. And up. To the final boss! It's time for real Zoda! Oh my god, it's like a xenomorph, except lame looking. You're lame looking. Shoots stuff out of his belly button. What is he fucking, uh, what's his name? Kraid? Oh no, I'm Kraid, I'm fat. I shoot missiles at my belly button. Why I, a giant He's space dragon He's kind of legitimately have... tough because he just doesn't give two shits about you. Why and I, a giant guys... space oh! dragon Why did- no! You fucking <laughs> idiot! I'm all the way back to the start! Oh! <laughs> That's why I hate this boss battle, now I remember. Alright, so uh, we're gonna fast forward through some of that nonsense. <laughs> Don't blame me, it's the fucking game design bullshit. It was your fault for jumping in the middle. You're the fault. Fuck you. And we're back again! Fuck you, Zoda, I'm killing you this time, maybe. Uh, what are the odds? Uh, like 27 to 2. Mmm. I like those odds. Come on! Yeah. It wouldn't let me fucking move! Because you were shooting. Oh my god. Fast forward! If it didn't make you redo everything, this game would- this final dungeon would be so much more palatable. What's like Dark Souls, where you die and then you have to spend like half hour getting back to the boss. And trudging through all this shit. Alright, here we are! Let's do this, you fucking bitch! Welcome back! I'm getting tired of this frog-looking motherfucker. Or what is the actual dinosaur he looks like? Pair of something? What the fuck?! What? He almost jumped right on top of me from the top of the screen. From the top of the keys? Doesn't help that he's a fucking fast motherfucker. Look at that nonsense. He jumps half the length of the screen. What are you, some kind of scrub? I sure as hell can't jump half the length of the screen. Scrub. Uh oh. Also, have you not noticed that I've kind of destroyed your spaceship? Shouldn't you be evacuating? Ah, uh, he's pissed. The downfall of many an evil overlord. Anger! And I mean, I get that he's hard because he's the last boss in the game, too, but... Well, you're doing a lot better than you were last time. Yeah, because I'm being more cautious about fucking confronting him. Which also means it's taking forever. Well, it's better than us having to fast forward 8,000 times. Ah. Problem is, now I have- the only weapon I have is the blaster, which means I have to get close, which means he's got the advantage. Don't get greedy. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Look at him melt! Fucking vomit, you ugly bitch! Oh god. Oh! Get wrecked! Get 100% fucked! <laughs> oh! That's time for Maze! Yay! You've done it! You've done it! Wow! Totally gnarly, dude! 
Good luck. Good luck with this maze of the mystery. The spaceship is starting to explode. Hurry, get the last magic cube. This. You have no time. Get the last magic cube. Who's talking to me? I don't know, but I mean, we'd probably get it faster if you didn't stop pausing us. Alert, alert. You have no time. <laughs> you have no time to make your chance. <laughs> you have no chance to make your base or whatever. I don't something, remember. Something, something. Zero. Yeah, I've got it. But now, what do I do? <laughs> Use the magic cubes to uh, turn yourself into something. Form of a water bucket. So these aliens will probably never come back to Earth once they realize they've been killed by a prepubescent uh, pitcher. <laughs> Literally destroyed by a pitcher. One kid, 16 years old. Or 15. 16 or 15. I don't yeah. Remember. Where's Sub C when I need him? Or it's like a Contra I'm drowning, where you're I'm like drowning, one I'm guy, drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. one or two guys, and they completely defeat an alien invasion. Yep. So remember the dolphin? I dolphin. That's literally the only reason you saved the dolphin in Chapter 2, is so that they can help you at the end of the game. Hey, we have to you! Bye! How they found us in the middle of the fucking ocean. Oh, look, we're back on Sea Island. Yay! And there's some sea. Hey, what's up? Congratulations. How do you know what I did? That's ready, Cola! Uh, 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 uh. Mike, show me how to use a yo yo sometime. How do you know who Zoda is? Except for those bananas. Yeah, I still have bananas in my ear. Let's celebrate with some cola. You drink it and feel much better. <laughs> Sponsored by Coke. <laughs> we have to sit here and wait for all of your hearts to fill up. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Oh, I'm so happy that I killed Zona. Yeah. Mike, you've returned! Oh, you have the three magic cubes! I knew you could do it! Hi, Richard Attenborough. The monsters have disappeared from the islands. Mike, our island is forever indebted to you. Yay! Yeah, I've come here, Captain. The circuits indicate success! Said twice for some reason. Mike, you've done it. You risk life and limb. I know you almost gave up your quest, but I'll tell all you battled like a hero under the Southern Cross. I never came close to giving up. Fuck you! Let's join the three magic cubes together, for some reason. Now we get to play Cubert. <laughs> oh, they're spinning. They're spinning. They're spinning. <laughs> they're transforming. Something is happening. Remember how it was an escape pod? Yeah. Now it's a spaceship. Oh, nope. they're aliens. Who are they? That one speaks. Listen. Hi, I'm Princess Micah, daughter of the Argonian leader, Hirokon. We last- or seven boys and girls from- are the last beings from the okay, planet Argonia. Okay, hold on. What the fuck is up with that one guy on the bottom right? I know, right? He's <laughs> like, you guys have healing! <laughs> 20 years ago when our planet was about to be destroyed, we were placed in the time-frozen magic cubes and sent to this planet. Our planet no longer exists. Why are they we'll magic cubes? The They'd be technology. Our father, Hirokon, told me to live in peace with the people of planet Earth. Hi, I'm Mike. We'll find you a home. Mike, you saved more than cubes. You saved a whole race, race from extinction. Micah, many kids live on the island. I know the chief will welcome you here. She's actually like 500 years old. <laughs> it's her new home. You'll be happy living here under the Southern Cross. Okay, tonight is the party. It'll be a great feast for all. We are pleased. You are so kind. I'm hungry. Is that a banana cream pie? How do they know hey. what a banana cream pie is? Ah! Hey, anybody want to go fishing? Let's go. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Whee! Party! God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But then I'm like legitimately tired. <laughs> One more zoom out, please. There we go. Apparently we went from Earth to Galaxy. <laughs> the end. Uh, 
There's actually kind of a cool credit sequence though. The highest resolution thing in the game. <laughs> the end. G Takeda! G Takeda! Yoniyama. Hatika I don't know how to say some of these words. Wada. There's like seriously like six people program this entire game. Pretty much. Well, I mean, that's, that's how they were made back then. Nah, that's true. Thanks to Don James and Howard Phillips for some yeah. reason. They were probably the, the in- translators. That's the entire credits, by the way. They were probably the <laughs> ones who translated it in English. Yeah. But that's not the end of the credit sequence, because... Now they have to add in the catch for the next no, game. No, we get to see pictures of our battles. It's kind of cool. I don't know why. <laughs> that's it's the giant the snake, snake from thing. the first chapter. Yay! And then That's there's the, the lighthouse. lighthouse we had to beat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what you said. <laughs> Fighting the octopus. What the fuck is he throwing? Yo-yo. Oh, I thought that was like a golf club or something. Oh, look at the cute little dolphins. We yeah, are dolphins. Yeah. Oh, Ghost Village. What fun. By fun, I mean not fun. Hey, look, it's the ghost boss. Ooh. You also get to see a close-up of Mike, who looks ridiculous, by the way. Hey, look, he's turned into a girl, sort of. Ugh. Apparently wearing no pants. Yay, the fountain. All that was up to chapter three, by the way. God damn it. See, look, he looks fucking... He looks like a weirdo. I don't know why I'm saying it. His face is just drawn really weird. Into the whale. That's what the letter would show if you dipped it in water. And again, there's the code if you needed to know it. At the end of the game. Peter the Parrot. <laughs> the bowling <laughs> ball. <laughs> that face, man! <laughs> you won't get me, boulder thing. Uh, it's ship a pirate sinking. ship. Well, it's not a pirate ship. He was an English captain. Yeah. He was a privateer. That's us diving down at the beginning of chapter six. Oh, the face with the... Mm, that spat weird... Worms. Worm things at us. And Mike fell over, apparently. <laughs> And then aliens! Zaku. Just a really thin, svelte Zaku. And then Zoda. Spitting his face huggers, because that's what they are. And then the alien thing explodes. God, it's like this just happened five seconds ago. Yay! And then Mike with his yo yo. Yeah, I'm gonna go pitch again. And then he pulls the bananas out of his ears, finally. Yes, um, that is him pulling the bananas out of his ears. I don't know how he got them in there. <laughs> and that's the end of the game! Woo! Oh my god, that's like the first game that we've done in one recording. Well, no, we did Ninja Gaiden. That wasn't nearly as long, though, but... Whatever. Regardless. Ugh. Anyway... That's all for this playthrough, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, We've played some other games on the channel, so feel free to check those out. There's a few of them there. And, uh, Tyler, what the fuck do you have to say after that epic adventure? Nintendo! It's on the screen. Great. Great. Nintendo. Thank you, I appreciate that. (laughs)